So check out this massive building. It looks like on the first floor is a restaurant called Clown's Deli and it has a picture of a clown. I'm actually quite curious. I'm going to climb it and see if they have clowns as waiters. Let's go check it out. Come on. It, I guess they're working on saving this river to make it cleaner. And it looks, it's, I mean, it's dirty, but it looks a lot better than the river in Medellin. Like for example, I can actually see the rocks down here. So it's clearer. So whatever they're doing to, to make to improve it, it's working. Look, life is coming back. So there's birds here fishing for, um, for fish, for small fish. And this is what they're trying to do in Medellin too. They have a project to, to clean the river in Medellin. And based on this, it looks like they're gonna, they're gonna have success. I can't wait for the day, it's gonna be good. Once again, very hard to cross the street. <laughs> Let's go check out the deli. Huh. That looks like a cool cafe down there. Okay, it's a museum. Looks like the entrance to a museum. La Tertulia. Tertulia. Huh. Okay. I don't see any clowns. There's no clowns. Except they painted him a clown. Clown Delhi, but no clowns. Let's continue walking the city and see what we find. Let's see what we find. It's like this part of the museum, like a little cine, a little theater. Very cool. I like it. And we got people over here practicing their, their acts. Huh. Dead end. But it looks like an amphitheater. A little amphitheater where they put on shows. This is what they're going to... They're going to do something like this in the... Um, uh, Pueblito Paisa or Sierra Nutibarra. They, they're building a massive amphitheater like this over there in Medellin. Colombia, all over Colombia, I'm seeing like they, 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 they're embracing arts and culture, outdoors, fitness. Another reason why I love Colombia and I'm loving Cali. I'm loving Cali. Look, more Chivas. They're not like the coffee, like the coffee region Chivas. <laughs> you can't be on top of those roofs. All right, let's carry on. Guys, this is something I highly recommend anybody to do. If you ever want to, if you go to a new city and want to get to know the city really well, put on your walking shoes and get out and walk the city. Of course, don't give so much papaya or, you know, taking out your camera and cell phone like I do. Be more <laughs> discreet than I am. <laughs> and then come and walk the city. Come walk the city, get out and talk to the people and you really get a feel of the city, get a feel of the culture. You know, don't just, the way I've traveled all my life, I've been traveling since I was 17, I've always done this. And oftentimes I would go to famous cities like Paris or Prague or whatever like that. And I would see, I would, I would miss the tourist attractions. Like say there's like 15 tourist attractions to see in Prague. I would see maybe five or six and I'll miss the other ones, why? And this could be to my, a negative thing about it, but I never, when I go to new cities, I never do research before I arrive. I never do research. I just put on my walking shoes and I walk the city. And because I don't do research, I might miss the tourist attractions, but I guarantee I see so much more of the city than the typical tourists that have, um, they want to see, I don't know, do like six countries in a, in a trip, or they want to do like a, the whole Colombia in one trip and they go from like bouncing from one city, one city, one city, next city, next city, next city, next city, taking off the little tourist attractions and bouncing really quick. No, I don't do that. What I do is I get on the scene, I walk the whole city and I get to know the culture and everything. I, I adapt and I immerse myself deeply into the city. Even if it's only three days. Como? Que grabo? Yo? No, it's so YouTuber. Por qué? Ah, bueno. <laughs> um, she's, she's asking what I what I'm filming. Anyways, um, what was I saying? So I get to I get to know the culture really deep. That go three like even if it's only three days, I know the city, right? And I see a whole lot more than what the typical tourist sees. And that's what I highly I highly recommend. I highly recommend. All right, let's check this out here. Something else I've seen. This old house. And we got, look, more cats, more cats. That was funny, I was like, what, what are you filming? <laughs> I'm filming myself. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not sure if she was asking, what are you, 
filming, she said, I, I heard, ¿Qué grabas? Or, ¿Por qué grabas? I didn't know which one she asked. I heard, ¿Qué grabas? I said, myself. <laughs> that might have been a little bit, a little bit grossero way of answering, but, uh, my bad. The way I responded afterwards, I think it was a little bit nicer. Uh, and if she would have wanted to be on the film, I would happy to have her on. But I think she got shy after I talked to her and her friends. What's over here? We got homeless people living there. Let's be careful. They want to invade their privacy. I don't want to invade nobody's privacy. Okay, let's continue walking up these steps. I'm about to run out of battery, guys. I filmed a lot so far. I'm going to have to invest and buy some more batteries so I can last longer out of my films and my walks especially when I go to a new city that's I know I'm repeating myself but I go a little bit deeper in my conversation like a bakery spot nice when uh when I go to new cities and I do my walks around the whole city I usually start super early in the morning maybe like 7 30 8 o'clock like leave the hotel I'm up by six having coffee relaxing out of the hotel or wherever I'm staying hostel by seven and I literally walk the whole day until about, I don't know, maybe seven at night, eight o'clock, literally walking, only stopping to drink coffee, talking to people, eating lunch, and then dinner. That's some weird fruit. And that's how I walk the whole city in two days. <laughs> what is this kind of fruit? What is this? Let me know in the comments if you guys know. It's like hanging, hanging fruit. And then this other fruit here, growing out here this is this looks like um a tree from avatar doesn't it looks like straight from avatar that is crazy bueno que tipo de fruta es esa usted sabe no tengo ni idea pero es como interesante no rara nunca la había visto soy de aquí de cali nunca la es que yo, yo estoy diciendo que parece como de de la película avatar pues puede ser puede sí. ser es como interesante Pues yo soy de Texas, Houston, pero ya ya vivo acá cinco años. Ah, en, no, ya, ya jugas de local. Sí, pues esa es mi primera vez acá en Cali, pero yo vivo en, en Medellín. Oh, sí. En Medellín, sí. Estoy como grabando la ciudad para mostrar a los extranjeros ah, la hermosa que es, que es Cali. ¿Usted trabaja por la, la alcaldía? Yo soy secretario de riesgos. Ah, Risk bueno. Management. Estoy tomando mucho riesgo haciendo este. No, no estoy tomando mucho riesgo. There we go, guys. You heard it from him. It's not that dangerous what I'm doing. Acá es como seguro, ¿sí o no? Buenas. Hola. Acá es como seguro, ¿sí o no? Pues yo vivo muy tranquilo. Sí. Y, y estudié muy lejos. Yo estudié en la Universidad de Cambridge, Ajá. en el Reino Unido. Ah, sí, sí. Soy un máster en, 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 en el Reino Unido. Ajá. Y, y vivo aquí feliz y trabajo en riesgo. No, vea, no tengo ni chofer, ni tengo nada. Y... Perfecto. Es que todo el mundo me dice que Cali es peligroso. Pero, pero yo sé dónde vos vas y no observas el sentido común. Exacto. Pero yo, yo me siento más seguro acá en Cali que en Medellín. Aunque yo siento muy seguro en Medellín. Venga, le hago un regalo para que no, no sé. Ah, bueno. He's going to give me a gift. Maybe, what, a gun? <laughs> so he works for the uh, security of uh, risk. Risk management agency. Chief, ah. Quédate con todo. Sí. sí. Ah, muchas gracias. Bueno. Una uh, tajo bocas. <laughs> Bueno, chao. Muchas gracias, chao. Hey. Igualmente, gracias. That's 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 Colombia, guys. People are so nice, so friendly. He's he also doesn't know about this streak. <laughs> and I got a whole package of uh, tapabocas. Excellent. Even though I have a huge box, it's gonna last me until the end of this quarantine or end of this pandemic. I'm going down the wrong road. This goes this way. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. I have to retrace my steps. Go back and then head that way but it's all good now something that i was talking about when i go to new cities i get lost I, I walk all the time and typically i always end up in the in the most dangerous areas of, of the city but nothing's ever happened to me one because I, I wasn't filming youtube back then and two the way you carry yourself and like what he said being aware of your surroundings i always do that i carry myself very confidently and i'm always aware of my surroundings even with this camera on, I know who's around me most of the time. All right, let's walk. Guys, isn't it so funny that I'm just out walking the streets and I actually bumped into the secretary of risk of Cali and I did a, a brief interview of him. That's pretty funny. It's excellent, actually. 
That's why I love doing this. I love getting out in the streets. I'm definitely burning those calories, guys. Put in the work, put in the work. Boots on the ground for you. Boots on the ground, David. So I, I told you guys that this place was a hit place. Check out this bar behind me. Isn't that cool? Hold on. Now I told y'all that there's a cool place to drink. Faro Peñon. I don't know this place, never been, but it looks awesome inside. With the, uh, the vines coming down and the bar in the back. That looks like a happening place. Let me know if anybody's been there. Huh. What else? I'm liking Cali, man. These people are super nice. I mean, I love Medellin too. I love Paisas. They're also super nice. Ah, this is great. Okay, let's carry on. Another cool place. Wow. Huh. Now, here's a leg breaker. So look here. I'm walking. If I wasn't paying attention, if I wasn't paying attention, look at this steep decline. This is a steep decline. You're walking, you're not paying attention. You, you step here and you're going down. Hard fall. So that's something to watch out for, guys. If you haven't been to Columbia yet, watch out for the leg breakers because they'll definitely get you. Okay. I recognize this area. Oh, a cat, another cat. A cat spotting. So many cats here. There's more cats here than dogs. This is super interesting. Okay. There's the pig place that we walked by before. So I'm gonna head back to the San Antonio Park. Maybe there's more people because it's four o'clock right now. And I'm gonna keep on walking to find a different place that someone told me is nice. Stay tuned. I like this house. So nice. I'm already at 17,000 steps. Let's see if I can show it. I'm not even halfway done yet. Holy cow. But I gotta save some energy for the salsa tonight. Gotta save my legs a little bit. Hmm. I wanna keep going, but I'm thinking I might head back to the Airbnb to do some laundry and rest my legs. But one last stop on this one. But the problem is the stop that I wanna go to is called Loma. Loma means hill. <laughs> Why did I choose Loma to go to today? There's so many other places, but I don't know. I have it in my head. I want to go check out this Loma. And let's go check it out. If I don't make it, if I decide to quit before, I'll come back tomorrow and check it out. But I'll try to get it done for you guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm asking. Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. So I'm asking Jenny about the uh, Tres Cruces. And she's giving me the, the advice to go. Donde el parque los gatos. Sí. Donde sí, el parque los gatos. Sí. Y allí te metes para Normandía. Uh -huh. Ahí preguntas a, hacia el Cerro de las Tres Cruces y todo el mundo te da razón. Ah, ok. Es un lugar muy bonito, te lo recomiendo. Sí, claro. Y esa es una entrada, pero hay otra entrada por Chipichapa. Por Chipichapa, pero esa sí no la recomiendo mucho. Vas no. Es que vayas en, en un grupo grande o yo a grupos que están. ¿Y por qué no recomiendes eso? Porque por allá sí roban un poquito. Roban, pero. Sí, la, so there is a lot of uh, thieves and it's dangerous of them. That's where I'm staying. But that part of the city is como seguro, no? It's a barrio bueno. Sí, es un barrio bueno. Sí. Pero aunque es barrio bueno, hay hay va los ladrones para para sí, robar. Sí, desafortunadamente tenemos ese problemita Por, en nuestra ciudad. Porque hay hay donde los ricos el, sí. y donde los, los ricos van los ladrones para robarles. Sí. Sí o no? Ah, bueno. Acá más seguro. Sí, en Normandía. Bueno, está bien. So tomorrow, guys, I might go either tomorrow. Eh, so, ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál día es más que mueve más gente ahí? ¿Domingo o sábado? Domingo. Domingo. So on Sunday. On Sunday I might go. ¿Hacen misa ahí? En sí, domingo, allá, en la mañana. Sí. Perfecto. So I might go on Sunday if I'm not too tired to climb through cru uh, Tres Cruces. Stay tuned for that. Gracias, Jenny. Dale. Chao. Suerte. Cristo Rey también, o Pance, ¿no? Cristo Rey, ¿dónde está eso? Bueno, ya Cristo Rey sí toca. Ya buscar por otro lado, no, no sabía decirte ahí en la ruta. No, pero como. Sí. Ah, ahí, eh, te puedes ir en. Pues tocaría en un carrito pequeñito, en un jipeto. Eso, antes lo cogió uno en la 10, no sé ahora. Pero en el GPS busco Cristo Rey y ahí está, Cristo, Cristo Rey. Rey. Sí, ahí te dan el punto y Cristo Rey sí es más fácil porque es la, la, la calle es pavimentada. Ajá. Y es así onduladita. Ah, y llega una esta, esta, estatua, una estatua. Sí, hasta de, la de, 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 de Jesús Cristo. Cristo Rey, sí. Ah, ok. ¿Y el otro se llama qué? El pan. Eh, el panse. 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 Es una caminata también. Sí. Te recomiendo pico de águila por la 
el sector de Panza o el pueblito Panza para que conozcan la iglesia que hay allá en el pueblo. Pueblito Panza. Panza, sí, Panza, pueblo. Panza, Panza, sí, como estómago. Sí, Panza. <risa> <risa> Guys, there's a lot of places I need to go check in Cali. A mí, quizás tengo que regresar a Cali. No, sí, no, tengo, su, no tengo suficiente tiempo. Bueno, voy a regresar de ah, una. Sí. Bueno, Jenny. Dale. Chao. Dale, Suerte. Dale. <risa> So guys, there's a lot of places I need to climb. A lot of hiking spots here. And I know there's another spot that's like a, a hiking spot with a, um, I guess like a blue lagoon, uh, very crystal water. I'm not sure if it will do everything on this trip. I want to come back, maybe stay a little bit longer in Cali to explore more. We'll see. Let me know if you want me to do that. Oh, so it's got an H2O, 3,000 3, pesos. This is the second most refreshing you can drink. But it's a whole lot more than the, the caña the caña juice and i'll tell you what i think so far what i've seen so far in cali if i was just rent a place to stay for a bit i'd probably would stay in this area because i like the vibe i like this this park people out here with their dogs at after four it's pretty cool i like the old uh, architecture but it is kind of during the daytime it's all alone so that's a negative that's a negative so i like to go in the daytime out to the corner store and drink a beer or coffee with the neighbors so it is kind of lonely so that's a negative on this part but in the afternoons it's super nice Poss okay so possibly live in a different area and come here to hang out in the afternoons good thing is cali's not that big though i mean i'm staying in, in flora which when i tell people like oh that's far but it really wasn't that far to get here so this is my first day let's see what i think after a few days here Guys, I just noticed something. This park here, it looks small, but when I look at the map, hold on. When I look at the map, see where I'm at, the blue dot? This park is massive. I mean, look at this. Oh, this is that park right here. Wow, but I'm not going there. I need to get to this red dot. I have a mission. I need to get to this red dot here. This is where I want to go. I'll come back another day to explore the rest of the park, but I want to get to this red dot. <laughs> when I get something in my head, I can't, I can't not do it, so. I gotta go this way to get to the red dot, to the Loma. But I'm actually really curious to, to explore more of this park. This park is massive. I'm liking Cali, guys. I'm really liking Cali. All right, come on, let's go. This is kind of different architecture here. I like it though. Hmm. Nice house. Open air, open patio. Newer street. Colin, Colina de San Antonio. Hmm. All right, so I'm on Carrera 12, Calle 1. I like how they do the street signs here, better than what they do in, in, uh, in Medellin. In Medellin, it's almost nearly impossible to see the street signs are all hidden, most of them. Here, they do a good job of the street signs. All right, guys, I'm down on my second battery. It's about to die. I got one battery left on this thing. Ah, hopefully, it'll last me for this, uh, this walk. And then I gotta go home and charge it for tonight. So, and these batteries take forever to charge. But uh, so be it, so be it. Come on camera, last me. Anyways, let's keep walking to that red dot. Let's go check it out. And then after that, I'll head back to the Airbnb to relax a little bit. I think if I lived here, I would wake up early. Like I get this energy here of wanting to work out. Like I would wake up early and go for runs. Just go for runs. But one thing I haven't seen, that is different than in Medellin. In Medellin, in all the parks, they have outdoor working spots, like outdoor pull-ups, and even like gyms, like with weights and stuff, everywhere, all over the city. I haven't seen that here yet. That's one thing that's missing. Let me know if whoever's from Cali, or been in Cali, if I'm wrong, but I'm not seeing very many outdoor workout spots like there is in Medellin. That's my that's my kind of style house right here. Small house on top with a big terrace around it. Probably has a good view too. Good spot to do a barbecue up there. If I can find something like that, I'll be happy. I mean, of course, if I'm living by myself, you know, a single dude. With a family, I need something bigger. <laughs> All right, we keep walking. This is a nice little neighborhood too. It's quiet, not that much traffic. Se aquí el apartamento. There's renting apartment right there. Hmm. All right, let's go. Here's a neighborhood gym that looks like the rock frequents. Nice, I bet it's awesome inside. 
Oh, let's check it out. Yeah, cool. Hey. <laughs> Very cool. Got neighborhood gyms. I personally prefer neighborhood gyms versus like big uh, box gyms. I'm supposed to go this way to get to the red dot, but I have a dilemma. I just noticed up here, there's actually something interesting, a nice church up here. That means I'm going to climb two hills for you guys. I'm going to climb this hill, check out this church. And that's part of the... That's part of the uh, Parque San Antonio, that big park I was just in. On the far extremity. And I'm going to go check that place out, then I'm going to go to the red dot. I don't have any fruit guys here following me, but I got gel uh, gelatina guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm in these stairs. Getting the ca calories burned. How many steps I got so far? 18,392.94. How much calories have I burned today? Let's see. 2,475. Not bad. Alright, let's get, oh, shoot. Almost fell. Let's carry on. The first outdoor workout spot I've seen. One solo pull up bar. Let's go see, let's go test it out, see if it's good. Hold on. Because you guys seen my videos. There's outdoor parks all over Medellin. Maybe I'm not in the area where they have outdoor, park, outdoor workout parks. Let's see if it works. Well, I'll tell you what. People in Cali must be super tall on average compared to Paisas because this is tall, this is high up. Let me know if people in Cali are taller than people in Medellin. I don't know. Tell you the truth, I'm kind of scared to do it because it doesn't seem that firm. And this is on a hill, on a very steep hill. So if this breaks, I'm rolling down this hill. And that'll be embarrassing. And I don't want to take the risk. So we keep climbing. <laughs> so they have one, they have one outdoor park, like outdoor workout area, which is a pull-up bar on a steep hill that doesn't look sturdy at all. That's their outdoor working area. Too bad. Alright guys, we made it to this church, Parroquia San Cayetano. And we got some exercising people here. Here we go. So if they don't have the outdoor workout areas, they make their own. They make their own. That's excellent. So this is like a working church. They have services here. I want to check out the view. Check out the view to this side. Oy. Let's see. Okay, we got mountains over here. I love it. Now the thing I love about Colombia is the mountains everywhere. Oh, beautiful. But Cali is mostly flat. It's mostly flat all around this valley. So the difference with Cali versus Medellin, now the difference is this. You notice it's flat. So Cali can grow out, can expand. Kind of like Houston and Texas. Medellin, the valley is a lot smaller. So it can't grow out, it has to grow up. So in Medellin, you're gonna see a whole lot more high rises than you do here in Cali. Let's see, on this side, this because it's a hill coming up, it looks taller. But over here, the most of the valley is just out and far and flat. So Cali is actually bigger than I thought. Look how big it is. It goes way out there. I couldn't walk all that. Or maybe I could, if I put my mind to it. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's go to that red dot now. All right, let's go. The red dot I need to go to over, way over here. Palm trees over there. So let's walk, let's get the walking in. Hopefully my battery can last and I'll get back to Airbnb. We put in a lot of work today, guys. We saw a lot, of, like a good part of the city and I got a few more days to show the rest of the city. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff and see you around my channel, of course. Let me know in the comments if you guys like what I do. You guys like what I do. It looks like some kind of some kind of melon that's growing here. Let's see. Ah, whatever kind of melon that is. is. That a pumpkin? Huh. Alright, I shouldn't be doing that. It's probably might be a snake inside there. <laughs> let's be careful. Alright, let's carry on. Another example how Cali is cheaper in Medellin. 30 huevos, 30 eggs for 6,000 pesos. That's cheap. In Medellin, I think the cheapest you can get is maybe 8,000 or but not very good quality. 10,000, 11,000 for good quality. 13,000 for better quality. So, or 15. Anyways, <laughs> let's carry on. I'm guessing that in this neighborhood, not many foreigners make it through here. <laughs> but that's again, 
that's just part of my channel i take you guys where most tourists don't go to where most foreigners don't walk right and we explore the real the real life the real culture and this like i said in the beginning of, of the, this video or my other video is what i've been doing forever i've always walked cities and just get lost and that's what i love doing so i'm just taking you guys with me we're almost to the red red dot <laughs> I don't know if y'all see it, but I like this house too. Big balcony, small little house to basically just fit your necessities and have a big outside area. I like it. All right, let's continue. This looks like a truck my buddy would like back in Texas. He has a similar truck, but bigger. Nice. Is it a, yeah, Chevy. No, he has a Ford. Super nice. I like it. All right, let's carry on. Alright guys, so we're, um, where I'm about to take y'all is the red dot that I've been trying to get to. It's called Loma de Cruz. And someone told me, come check it out. From the looks of it, from this side I'm looking, it looks like it's a very happening place. A cool place to come hang out with bars, restaurants, drink, music, all that stuff. I'm just, I'm, I'm saying this from my observations from a distance. Let's go inside, let's go check it out. Come on. Loma de Cruz. Hmm. I see Michael Jackson frequencies area. <laughs> All right, so we got a coffee, a coffee spot here. Yeah, it's just happening. We got Arabic food, Kibbutz Fusion. I love Arabic food. That actually looks like a nice area, nice spot. Very cool inside. Nice. There's Michael. There's Michael right there. Hmm. So let's check out this area and then we'll head back. Definitely a tourist area. Well, there's tourist stores, souvenir stores. But it's cool. Huh. I think the next days I'll be exploring more like neighborhoods where people actually live. If for the people who, for you guys who are looking or thinking about moving to Cali, I'm gonna explore the neighborhoods, show you guys options, I guess, and what it's like, and give you my perspective. But here's a hangout spot, a tourist spot. Not bad. What I notice here, it's like a little waves, but it looks like the young people come and sit and chill with their friends. As you can see behind me, they're sitting and chilling. I'm pretty sure at nighttime, this gets packed with people sitting here, drinking a beer, hang out with their friends and you got the beautiful view of the Tres Cruces right there where I'm probably gonna climb on Sunday we'll see not bad awesome another place where people come and hang out I guess looks like it I'm sure at nighttime this place is happening this place is full with people especially in normal times this was like the police station right here. It's the smallest police station I've seen so far. That's hilarious. All right, but look at this. What's this about? Recuerdo de la Saint Mission Dada por los. I have no idea, but check it out. It's a, it's a cross. I'm not sure if you can see the hand right here. Can you see it? It's a, it's a hand. What is that about? It has a hammer, has some nails. A ladder, so it might be for the carpenter or the construction worker. Let me know in the comments. Este monument fue estrado. It doesn't say what is it about. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what this uh, this structure is about. I'm interested. Looks like there's a lot of circus carriers that uh, car carriers, a lot of circus characters that practice here, and in, in. this is the second group of uh, like performers that I've seen in the city in my walk today pretty cool so it looks like that's it loma de cruz we walked through it now we're leaving so i want to find a way to get back to my airbnb and if i see anything else interesting i'll turn the camera on so stay tuned for that if i don't turn the camera on i'll see you on the next video but stay tuned because i can see you on the next second you never know you never know with this channel <laughs> there it is guys parque artisanal Loma de la Cruz. So it's an artisanal park. This park is made just for artisanal arts. That's that's beautiful. Again, Colombia 
trying to nurture the arts, the creativity, the culture, uh, the fitness, all that stuff, everything to do with the people. Uh, that's, it's so beautiful but, uh, that you see a government, a community trying to develop that, right? We might, we might need more of that in other countries. I won't say any countries' names. Anyways, stay tuned. I'll see you on the next video. I don't know. One thing that would be perfect that make Cali even better if they had a metro system. I miss, ride, I miss riding the metro. And I don't know the bus system too well here yet. So I'm having to take taxis. So I'm going to jump out a taxi back to my Airbnb. Which is not going to be that much. We'll see. I'll tell you how much it's going to be when I get there. So 8,200 pesos to get from where I was, that park, to where I am now, the Airbnb, which is right next to Karen's Pizza and the Centro Comercial Chipi Chape. <laughs> All right, so time to go wash my clothes. See y'all guys next video. Y'all take care. Ciao.